Hello everybody, Toast Bomb here, and just yesterday we got an update as to what 343 is doing over there with their weapon settings. Now, this is pretty similar to what we got last week, and it does sound like we will be keeping the four-shot kill because they did say that they got some really positive feedback from the community, and I think at this point, if they didn't go with it, they would get a big temper tantrum from the community, and they do not want to see that. Nobody wants to see that. So I'm thinking they're going to stick with the four-shot kill BR, although there is still a slight chance that they won't go with it, but I, I highly, highly doubt it. So first, let's take a look at the BR. So it's still, right now, a four-shot, and requires only 11 bullets to kill. If you do the math, four times three, because there's three bullets in a burst, equals 12, but it only requires 11. Now this is very, very important in online play, because the BR does have a tiny amount of spread that is uncontrollable to the player, and then also, there are things like lost packets, lag, and just general networking stuff like that, where shots just won't register. So this allows for a tiny margin of error, that will make the BR much more consistent. Now they also said that they're testing right now to have the BR as the same rate of fire of the DMR is right now. So I'll show you guys on screen right here what exactly that looks like. Then for the DMR and Light Rifle, they got a lot of community feedback saying that if you increase the range of Red Reticle for the Light Rifle up to the DMR, that still makes the DMR very powerful and it makes the Light Rifle even more powerful to use when the Light Rifle is really powerful when it's zoomed in. So what they did instead is they're keeping the same distance you get Red Reticle for the Light Rifle right now and reducing the DMR's range to what the Light Rifle's is. They also said it's possible that they might increase the rate of fire of the light rifle when it's zoomed in. They're messing around with that right now, but they're really not sure about that one. Then with the assault rifle, it right now takes 16 shots to kill somebody. So that means if you're shooting absolutely perfectly, you can kill two people, but that's like pretty much never going to happen. Right now, they're testing it with a 13 to 14 shot kill. But because of the sped up kill time, they're knocking the aim assist down on this thing crazily. And they're saying that it's in between about Halo CE and Halo 3 in terms of the auto assist that you get with the assault rifle. So there is the state of the weapon balancing. I'm really excited. I thought that was awesome that they're making it a 11 bullet kill for the BR because that will make it so much more consistent online. While maybe on LAN, yeah, it's a little more skillful, but even then, the spread is uncontrollable to the player, and there is a slight amount that I think this is definitely a necessary thing, so I'm really glad that they're doing that. That's a super smart decision. So. Overall, this to me is looking amazing. Now they did talk about one other thing and that is join in progress. This won't be part of the weapons update, but it will be coming up this Monday. Now they're updating join in progress so that after half the game time in any game mode, join in progress is completely deleted, period. Then in Rumble Pit, it actually now has the smallest potential window where it's only during the first few kills of the match. So no longer will you join with someone having like 15 kills. Maybe they'll have like three kills, but after that, it's completely closed off. Then in Slayer game types, excluding throwdown and doubles, after half the kills have been met, join in progress will be turned off. In King of the Hill and Oddball, after the second half of the game in terms of points, so you know, if it's 300, points for King of the Hill after 150 it'll be turned off, same goes for Oddball. After that amount of time, it'll be turned off. In Griffball, there will no longer be join in progress in single round matches if a team has scored over three points. And very similar settings will eventually carry over to the Griffball Pro settings. Then lastly, in Throwdown and Doubles, join in progress is only for the very first moments of the match and then like while the game is loading. That's the only time it's open. It's even smaller than it is right now, which is I think around a minute is what it is. And it's gonna be even tinier. So I think overall all these changes, the weapons and the join in progress is a step forward and I cannot wait for that four shot BR. That is going to be awesome. So anyways, that'll be it for this one. If you liked it, you can leave a like or a comment or you can subscribe because I post new Halo videos every day. Also, I recently got a Twitter, so you can uh, follow me on there if you care to do that. Anyways,
Bye.